What's up, y'all? Tell me where to go. Welcome to the closet. Go, go, go. The lion's den. Go, go, go. Welcome to my closet amongst closets. Th this is the B-sides. Okay, this ain't even the singles. I got them all. I have another closet. Mermaids. The Lockless Monster. The Bermuda Triangle. Unicorns. Stuff that you only might have heard of if you're a sneakerhead that exists, but you've never seen it. Not a pitcher, not the sneaker. I have a whole other closet of those. I'll tell you about the time they made Baller's uh, TV show on HBO. Mark Warburg had it done. So the guy was supposed to get drafted to the Miami Dolphins, so they made him a sneaker. But they scratched that episode, but thank God they made the sneaker. And look whose hands it got in. <laughs> Please, don't play with me. This is like a full-time job for me. Every single day, I buy five, 10 pairs of sneakers. I got a big addiction, you know? I got a very big addiction. These the Mexi Bucos Collect. One of one, nobody got these. These are legendary. You know, these, they made these short ones for the designers of Jordan. I mean, we could get crazy. You know, the Kobe wave. Somebody actually, I always tell a story, got fired for making this Kobe Jordan collab ahead of time. This sneaker is like one of my uh, holy grails. Sneaker collectors are hunters. It says some of them we pay retail, some of them we pay a ton of money for. Dream Big Earl, look at that. These are the golfers, these young black brothers. They on fire out there, they got their own apparel. Um, and Jordan actually let them, this is the first time I've seen somebody change the logo like that. Uh, these are all suede ones, dumb. These are like ridiculous. And so this to me, this, this is like a museum. We do anything, we beg, we do whatever we can to get our hands on these sneakers. I'm famous for going to sneaker stores around the world and just putting water cash on the counter had an old man and the old lady look at me like I'm crazy and I tell them, let me go through the basement. And I go in the basement and pull out vintage sneakers. To them, it's garbage. But to me, it's, you know, it's that firepower. So we do everything for sneakers. You see all these right here. You need to film these. These are all Air Force One Terror Squad collabs. These right here actually have my face with the prayer. These are actually Michael Jordan's personal. Don't ask me how I got these. Personal. Infamous story, I remember one time I almost got stuck up. I met somebody at like a sneaker con and he said he had more firepower. I went to go see him and the car just jumps out and it's three guys with guns. And I said, damn, this, this set me up, right? But when they jump out, they see me, they're like, oh shit, crack, we ain't know we was looking for somebody, all right, cool. They jump back in the car, skirt it off. Right here, vintage Terror Squad, P.E. Jordans, uh, obviously in Nick colors. I'm a Nick fan. You made me think of the air shit. So believe it or not, before there was a Jordan 1, there was an air shit. This is the first sneaker Michael Jordan never wore to the game and um, these are holy grails because this is where it all started from. And uh, if you ain't noticed by now, I'm a big Jordan collector. This right here, is, this is dumb. This is a Kobe Bryant denim Air Force One. This... I have multiple sneaker closets, like multiple. Upstairs, I got another one. You know, in my crib in Miami, I got another one. You know, I don't do custom, but when I do custom, I really rock with the um, shoe surgeon. See his logo? And he made this all out of uh, Louis Vuitton fabric. He's sick. And I don't do no other custom. The only custom I do is the shoe surgeon. I got a bunch of shoes of his. You know, this right here was made by uh, an African designer out there. And he's from Senegal, but he's out there in Paris. This is... Uh, the most slept on sneaker of the year. I got the jacket that he made to it. It's a leather. 
uh, made for the brother from Senegal, but I really, really love this sneaker. This is one of my favorite for the year. You see me, I grew up dirt poor. I didn't have nothing. And all I ever cared about was being fly, being fresh. You know, and I love that whenever I try to put an outfit together, I always got something to go with it. You know, and so sometimes I buy stuff that I normally wouldn't even wear, but one day when I need that same color scheme, it's going to pop up and it's going to be fly. I can't show you everything. These are my brother DJ Khaled. This is a look-see. You'll never get your hands on these. Um, this is a look-see. And so Khaled was like, what color you want? What this? I said, I want the ones that's never coming out. You know what I'm saying? And so these are crazy. And actually, when they make samples, they usually make them size nine. But being that it's Khaled's personal, they made a size 11, I'm a size 12. So I take out the insole to the sneakers and that way I fit it, it's like a 12. That's a, that's a trick for y'all. This was made for all the Team Jordan players that actually play baseball. This is a special canvas. This is ridiculous, guys. This is this, you know, I'm showing you dumb stuff. And like I said, this, this the B-sides. I got them all. I got every sneak I ever wanted. I'm sure there's more out there I haven't seen, but every sneaker I wanted, I have. Tink is uh, one of the greatest designers. I gotta show you something. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta show you something, right? Look at these right here. How sick these are. These, these are, I'm actually wearing these to the BET Hip Hop Awards. I'm actually gonna do it. All right, everybody. BET Hip Hop Awards will never be the same. Thank you for coming in my closet, but y'all gotta go. And this been kicking it with Fat Joe. But it's time for you to go.